Hi everybody, it's Megan with Loser Lee VSG. I had weight loss surgery on December 27, 2018, self-pay. I am 31 years old and I am 5 foot 7. So this week I lost 2 pounds. So that is a total of 23 pounds for the first month after surgery, which is amazing. I have never lost 23 pounds in one month. Hence why I had the surgery. I had my doctor's appointment today. It was supposed to be four weeks, but obviously with scheduling, it kind of turned out as my five week. Um, but they, it wasn't real eventful. I just drove down there and they just asked me how I was feeling. The lady who came in first just asked me if I had any issues and I kind of tried to mention citric acid being a trigger for me, which I'll get into later. Um, and she said, okay, we'll talk to the doctor. And she weighed me and that was it. And then when he came in, he said, oh, tomatoes and citrus. Yep, that will cause it. And I was like, well, and I tried to go in and explain the situation. And he just was like, you can just do any of those Larry the Cable Guy medications over the counter and just take care of it. And I was like, okay. And then he left. And then the nutritionist came in and she's like, do you need me to bring in the handouts? And I was like, no. And so they, all she said is that I would move to stage four, which is anything you want to eat, you know, just what your life is going to be on February 27th. I did ask her again about calories. I was like, the reason I called that first time is because I was afraid I was not eating enough calories, not because I'm afraid I'm going to go over calories. And she still was like, yeah, 1,200 calories. And I said, right, but you have to have something you can give people, you know, during this whole journey to make sure they're eating enough or not overeating. And she's like, as long as you eat the protein you're supposed to and you watch your carbs, you'll be where you need to be. And I'm like, okay, fine. Like, I knew I wasn't going to get anything else out of her. But not everybody is going to do low carb. Like, I know everyone thinks that is the answer. And yes, before surgery, when I lost all that weight, I was just, I kept an eye on carbs, but I never knew how many I had each day. Like, I chose foods that had good stats in all areas. But it's not like I plan to the rest of my life just watch my carbs and count my carbs. Like... So she was no help in that area, and it was just a short visit, and luckily that's the last one that we'll have. So I know that sounds like a downer, but um, it wasn't. I went, and I didn't expect anything other than that. <laughs> it lasted a few minutes, and I left, and then the doctor gave me a thumbs up on the way out. So they must have been okay with that 23-pound loss. Um, so going back to that citric acid, I have been having some, I've never had acid reflux. And so I just am guessing that's what this is. Um, but after I would drink like a Powerade or, um, a Propel or any of my water enhancers, I would get some burning up into my, it would just go right here. And people had already su suggested that since I was feeling hungry, that maybe it was some acid issues in my stomach. So when I looked up things that could cause these acid problems, it was like caffeine, citric acid, and something else. And whatever the other thing else was, I didn't take, I don't, I don't eat any of that or drink any of that. I don't drink caffeine. So I was like, well, maybe it's this citric acid. Well, and at first when I read that, I was like, no, there's probably nothing. I looked on the back of the Powerade Zero and the Propel and all. All of my water enhancers, except the A&W root beer, citric acid is either the first or second um, ingredient. So I'm assuming that's the culprit in all of this. So I'm not going to drink those anymore. I'm trying just to do regular water. It's not fun. It's not tasty. But, I mean, it's got to be done. And I can't risk having that acid. So I'm going to give all those to my dad. And then, so this morning, I just had water. I took my pills, 
my vitamins. And then I was just drinking water on the way to my visit. And I'm like, how is this causing some acid? Just this water? Well, I looked into my Flintstone vitamins and what do you think like the second ingredient was? Citric acid. I guess because this citric acid helps with like flavoring and preserving and so I'm assuming it's going to be in a lot of things, but I, other than like with my protein shakes, I haven't had any issues with eating things. I haven't had any issues. So it's just really the drinks I mentioned and now these Flintstone vitamins, I'm going to have to um, try to find a different multivitamin. But I hear so many times that multivitamins make people nauseous and I'm like, oh, thanks, thank goodness for these Flintstone vitamins. They don't do that to me. So I don't know. So I did pick up some... I don't even know how to say it. Amesrepol, Amesrepol, Ampet, you know, like it says it's for heartburn and it controls acid. It starts with an O. A lot of people take it. I've heard about it. So, but it says do it just for 14 days. So I'm hoping like I do just do it for 14 days and then I try to cut out the citric acid that I know about and we'll be good to go. Something new this week are ring sizers. So these I got from, well, I got them for Christmas. They were on my Christmas list. My mom got them from Amazon and I don't know the brand or anything, but they look like tiny, tiny telephone cords. You know, like the new twist hair ties that people wear. That's what these look like. And there's different sizes and you just wrap them around your ring and they stay wonderfully. So They've been on there for a couple of days and it secures the rings and it doesn't bother me. They're not falling off and so it's been a lifesaver. With negative 17 degree weather, I knew if I flung my hands up, my rings would go flying. So I put them on there and I like it. I don't plan on getting a new ring when my, fi when my fingers get as small as I think they're going to get. I will try to get my ring size down to the safest size possible without ruining it and then probably just use some kind of spacer like this because this is my ring that I got when I got engaged and I want to keep it forever. So that's my plan with that. Um, last week I made, well I guess it's this week, uh, scallion, scallops, not scallions, those are like onions, I hate onions, scallops and a cauliflower, cauliflower risotto mix and it had mushrooms and asparagus in it and it went down okay but a little bit after dinner it tried to come back up and it is the first meal that I've had that's tried to come back up and of course when it hit my back of my throat my my first reaction was just to swallow it which I'm sure I mean I'm not sure that it was a big amount because I can't eat a big amount but it came up and then I swallowed it really fast and then I, I know that's disgusting, sorry. And then I regretted that decision because then it was kind of stuck all the way down and then it just kind of played up, down, up, down and I had to sit there. I was trying to change my daughter's diaper at this time, pull up, whatever. And I was just trying to breathe, breathe it out because then I started to get the foamies and I do not want to throw up. I have not thrown up since surgery and so after I sat there for a few minutes, it was fine, but... The next day, I tried to eat leftover scallops and the cauliflower risotto, and it didn't happen again, but it just did not sit well in my stomach. So I don't know if it was the scallops. I hope not, because they were good, and the cauliflower risotto was good. So I, I don't know. I'm hoping it's just an off day, and I can try that meal again, like in a month or so, but it was not pleasant having it come up and down, and yikes. All right, so since it's been one month since surgery, I did do measurements. Overall, sorry, I'm trying to pull it up on my phone here. Overall, since I've started losing weight, so that's January of 2018, I believe this is correct, I have lost a total of 68 inches total. I don't know if this is gonna break it down for me. Well, maybe this is from the beginning. I'm on Bar Baratastic, Baratastic, the app, and I don't know how to just break it down by each time I put it in, but I'm just gonna go over so far what I've done. So my waist is 14 inches off, hips 10 inches, 
left thigh nine inches, right thigh nine inches. I only weigh my left, not weigh, I only measure my left thigh. In the very beginning, I didn't know that these apps were going to be doing left thigh, right thigh. It makes sense, but I didn't know. So I figured they're not that much off. So whatever I did for my left thigh or my left arm, I just did for my right arm, right thigh. So left bicep, five inches. So of course, right bicep, five inches. Chest, 12 inches. And neck, three inches. So my biggest lost, my biggest loss is my waist. But I know this month when I measured, my biggest loss was in my butt area, which is very obvious, at least to me and my husband and some co-workers who see me often. Like, the butt was hardly there to begin with and now it's pretty non-existent. So I'm going to start squatting a lot this month and then if that doesn't work, then your girl's going to have to have some fat injections into her butt or something because not having a butt doesn't really work when you're trying to wear pants. Because even though I am have lost a bunch of sizes in pants, I put on a pair that feel kind of snug, but then they're like saggy on my butt, which is not cute. So, of course, that would be the first place it's going to go off, then my waist, and then my chest, I believe, which I'm happy about those two. Good. Today I got in a large, size large sweatshirt, this one, and it's so cute. And I had it packed away, like, oh, I'll probably fit in it in a couple of months. No, I put on like this extra large sweatshirt, this new one I got. It was like hanging off me like a tent. So I thought, well, I'll pull this one out, but I thought, no way. And then I put it on and it's fits me. And it's not even like skin tight. It's amazing. This is so amazing. And I was looking at myself in the mirror, like side view, and I thought, like, that's you. That's so crazy. Oh, something else I wanted to do. Um, I wanted it for the I've been wanting to do it for a couple of weeks, or probably since I started YouTube. But I wanted to shout out some people that really have helped me in my journey. Um, the first YouTuber that I ever watched that taught me as a lot about VSG is the Chic and Savvy Bell. And she, I don't know, she didn't have any fancy backgrounds and I loved it. And then of course I tried to get some fancy backgrounds. Ooh. But she didn't and she was so real and so happy and so honest and she just took you through everything. And I, luckily she was already like eight months ahead of me so I got to binge watch everything and now I just wait, 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 wait for her to post. The second person I watched was Grace Gets Gastric. And I remember I watched her most recent video at that time first. And then I was like, yes, I want to know all about this person's journey. So then I also binge watched all of her journey. And now I still like get bell notifications every time she uploads because you just feel like They've taught you so much and you want to learn more and you want to see where they are in their journey and where you could be on your journey. Not to compare, but it's like, it's so exciting. And they really did teach me so much. I also watched um, Foodie Turn Sleevey. Ah, I hope that's right. <laughs> and she gave me a lot of meal ideas and who I watch now other than all those three that I just named was Little Kansas Kitty. I also, and all these people I mentioned, like I binge watch all of their channels. Once I feel like, yep, I'm in, then I need to know everything about their journey. So little Kansas Kitty, she lives near me. And so I just feel like, yeah, like we live in the same. <laughs> it was weird this morning. I knew it was um, colder outside and I was just like, oh, I know what it's like where little Kansas Kitty lives. I'm sorry if that's weird, but you know, you only have this, you have people in your life that are probably interested in what you're doing surgery wise and weight loss wise. But then you have this community who know pretty much everything you're going through. And so just feeling like you not, I don't know, not have friends, but like, cause you don't even really know each other, but you just, it's just this community and it's fun 
and I love watching YouTube and I love watching all of these ladies. And then Downsizing Danielle, I just recently have been watching all of her stuff and she is, we're about like the same weight area. And so I like to, um, I know she's like way ahead of me, not way ahead of me, but she's closer to where I am than those other ones. So if you get a chance, check out all of those ladies and I'll try to, if I start watching more, which I'm sure I will because I can't get enough, um, I will tell you some more good ones to watch to help in all different areas of the journey. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions, like, comment, subscribe. I want to interact. I want to share the story with everybody. Um, yeah. And I will hopefully see you with something new this coming week. Thanks guys.